PIB, I'll take care of the O2. Your position has been compromised. I want blood and tissue samples sent to my lab, then call the mortuary team and uh, have her incinerated. Good morning, sleepyhead. Good morning. Yeah, I didn't hear the baby cry. Are you up all night? No, I just I couldn't sleep. I got so much to do to get ready for this weekend. Well, look, it'll be a short day today. I'll uh, 
I'll pick up the girls and head straight home so I can help you finish packing. God, the girls are so excited. <laughs> They've been packed for like two weeks. Did you see Danielle's bag last weekend? Yeah. She <laughs> had a lunchbox, a pair of underwear, and two hair bows. Yeah, she's ready to go. <laughs> Sounds like my packing. Speaking of your packing, <laughs> when were you planning on packing? Yeah. Oh, look, I'm late for work. <laughs> no, you don't. I am not packing your bag again for you. When are you packing? Look, I'll get it done tonight. Hmm? I'm not going to take the pack underwear in a lunchbox. Just remember to throw a bow tie in there, okay? We're supposed to show up at a wedding this weekend. Alright, got it. Underwear, lunchbox, and a bow tie. Oh, can you pick up dinner tonight? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, amazing hell. The moment I wake up, the whole world knows it. Beverly Ann. Not surprised. She wants to know when I'm picking up the girls. I told her about the weekend trip last night. I don't know why she's calling. And you want some coffee? Where are you going? Huh? You want some coffee? Yes, please. Okay. Let's go make daddy some coffee. You're already awake. <laughs> We have to wake him up. Yes, we do. You're wide awake. We can wake him up. Battle. Deborah, thank you for that report. And well, it looks like it's going to be another hot, record breaking day out there today. Mark, do we have any chance of your future? Yeah, yeah. it's almost so good boy. Be in the right now, we're sitting at 82. Hey, maybe your uncle will come by today and fix that $5 alarm system he installed, huh? I heard that. Anyway, he'll be over. I already spoke with him. He broke up with his girlfriend again, so he'll be over a lot. Got lots of time on his hands. Great. <laughs> Surprise. Look, I, I won't be long. I gotta run over to North City. I think I'll have an answer in that bit today. They're never to give it for those tracker parts. I'll be home. So, what, like 115, 120? You're gonna call if you're gonna be late? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. Look, if everything goes as planned around 1 o'clock, I guess. And you'll call if you're going to be late. Because you have your cell phone on you, and that's what cell phones were for, to call the people you love. Really? And who would that be? You're so not funny. <laughs> Don't make me worry. Call me if you're going to be late. Look, you know I will. Look, I really got to go. Okay, I'll call you when I get to North City. Okay. I'll call you if anything changes. Love you. Love you back.
gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here! Let go of me! of it, he was exposed to that chemical. This is what's going to happen to your sons and daughters. We have got to stop them now. Say, oh man, this is murder. We should just let the police handle this, man. I'm out. Let's go. It's got to be okay. Let me go get some help. Are you? Nancy, what's happening? Na what's going on? Nancy, listen, there's a guy over there who's hurt. I need you to stay with him. I'm gonna go get help, all right? Okay. Let's go. Hey, he's still alive. Come over here and help him get up. Don't just stand there. Get over here. Uh -oh. I'm getting out. Oh, shit, get up! Hey, circuit board shorted out. Well, how long is that going to take to fix? Well, not long, but I'm going to have to go get a new one, I think. Unfortunately, you're going to be plagued with an annoying beeping sound until I replace it. Wait, how annoying? Well, let me show you. <laughs> Got a beat you can dance to. Uh, no, no, no. Not so much. <laughs> well, at least you paid me with love. Oh yeah, I'm just dripping with love. Where's my lunch? How about you fix the alarm first, and then we'll talk about your lunch. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that comment and put in my order. I'm thinking maybe a Kaiser roll, onion roll, either way. Mm -hmm. uh, Swiss cheese, some smoked ham, a nice ice cold beer, and for dessert, maybe that girl at the bookstore that you work with, huh? <laughs> no, 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 you're not getting anywhere near Madeline. Why don't you fix the alarm, and then if you're really, really, really lucky, I'll fix you some leftovers. Uh, do I look like a man who eats leftovers? Oh, honey, you look like a man that would eat a cardboard box if I cooked it for him. I, I gotta go on Hello? Yeah, I gotta take this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm free for a date. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna go out with this chick from a bookstore, but my sister, the Nazi, saw me. I'm going out the back, sis. Yeah. All right, I'll see you when you get back. Pregnant? No, she wasn't pregnant. It was a transvestite, you douchebag. Yeah, he was just fat. Hello. Kevin, did you change your plans with Nina this weekend? Uh, as a matter of fact, we didn't. We're still taking the kids on a weekend trip to the lake. Yeah, I think Danielle mentioned that. Look, 
I really don't think this is a good idea. I mean, Nina's not used to having all three of the kids, and you've got the new baby now, and if something happens, she definitely is not going to watch out for my girls. She's only going to take care of her own. What? Your girls? Yeah, well, they're my girls, too. Okay, and I'm picking them up after school tomorrow as usual, and we're leaving. Look, it's just, it's really not a good idea. They're getting attached enough as it is. What's going to happen whenever she leaves? Look, she's not going anywhere, Bev. I'm going to ask her to marry me. What? <laughs> she's just fucking you stupid, and you're going to ask her to marry you. You are so stupid. Oh, you know what? You're just pissed because your boss didn't marry you. It was a mistake, and you know that. Really? Which time and with whom, Beth? Well, you know what? I'm not having this argument with you right now because it's pointless, all right? The kids are mine this weekend. We're leaving tomorrow. Danielle might not be your... Oh, bullshit. You say that now. Well, where's Robbie, Bev? Huh? Oh, that's right. He left town with all his promises. Where'd that leave you? Stuck with me. Well, boo-fucking-who. You know what? How dare you? How dare I even care? You can be such a bitch sometimes. You know what? If you wanted things to be different, maybe you should have swallowed. Good afternoon. We have breaking news to report at this hour. The demonstration over the unethical use of a drug on combat soldiers quickly turned passionate today when protesters began attacking innocent pharmaceutical employees. Now this all started as a mission to get the pharmaceutical company to provide concerned military families with the names of the U.S. soldiers who had been administered the drug. KADC News Channel 7's very own Deborah Hopkins is at the compound where the protest is escalating. And she now joins us live to bring us this breaking story. Deborah? What I can tell you is protest is an understatement. This has turned into a full scale riot. Emergency response has been called but have not yet arrived. As you Deborah, we were just notified that the pharmacy's satellite campus in Evergreen has just suffered a massive bomb explosion. Can you verify with anyone if these attacks are related? Deborah. Kill the bee. I'm trying. What's going on downtown and at Evergreen? Baby, slow down. They attacked a reporter on live TV. They just jumped on her and started. Who attacked what? Nina, calm, calm down. Let me talk to Mike. No, he left. We're all alone. They need to come home. I don't feel safe. Promise me you're coming home. Nina. Kevin? Kevin? God damn it, I don't need this now. Kevin? Put, hey, put your mother on the phone. Right now. Route 423!
Turn the vehicle off! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of the fucking car! You can't do this to us! Well, I guess someone's not gonna be making it home for Christmas this year. You really shouldn't try to get up. You took a pretty hard hit to the head. I'm surprised you even made it. Here, clean yourself up. What happened? Hey, 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 keep your voice down. Noise has a tendency to, to attract them. Who are you? Fucking ghost. Baron. I think I crashed my truck into somebody. 
think I shot him. Think he got up? Really? What else do you remember? How you feeling? Uh, my neck hurts a bit, probably from the crash. Yeah, maybe. Barrett, how much longer do you think we're just gonna sit around here and wait? <coughs> and where are you gonna go? They're not bothering us here. We stay put. Baron, thanks for saving my life, really. But I got. Oh, hey, hey, wait. Don't make me regret saving your ass. You. Where do you think we ought to go? The police station? The hospital? A church? No. You go after them, you die. That's it. There's about a thousand infected reasons out there why we should stay right where we are. And I'm pretty sure that's going to go up 30 or 40 percent. So we stay put, you hear? Fuck them. They're dead. That's abandonment. You can call it for whatever you want, lady. But it's suicide to me. But he stays. I'll take my chances. They're expecting me to come. I'm not letting you walk out that door. You hear that? <laughs> now things are coming to order. Yeah, well, looking out this window, I see four, no, six infected walking around your truck. When I see military march by, then I'll leave. And so should you. But for now, we stay right here. I saw you at the medical facility today. You were running after that sick man and you got out of there right before all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. What am I now, the devil? Wait, 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 which medical center? The one in Evergreen? Yeah, the one where they're testing on the soldiers. Uh, if one of them gets fatally shot, then uh, they stay alive just a little bit longer. Or alive long enough to get medical help in the field. Well, I saw you running out of that building. My, my girlfriend and I were there protesting. Oh, give it up. That could have been anybody. No. What happened in there? Listen. I don't have to explain a goddamn thing to you. Do you understand? All this doesn't mean shit. This infection continues to spread. Now, we are staying put. Yeah, well, it does sound like you know something. Oh, well then. Let's get it straight. Number one, I don't explain myself to anybody. And number two, I don't explain shit. I saw you running out of that building like you'd seen the devil himself. You left that sick man there just to die. I, I saw the whole thing. Really? What happened? Well, some of the people just fell down and died. And the others... Oh, yes. Please. Please, tell us your story. The others got up and started attacking the other protesters. I was in the middle of that mob getting attacked by the crowd. They attacked you? Well, some of them did, yeah. But others just stood there frozen, not doing a thing. I was just trying to save my girlfriend. She's infected. You fucking told me she wasn't bitten or scratched. He's gonna get us all killed. Now you get her the fuck out of here now. Right? Things are outside. What are we gonna do? Just fine. Yes, baby, it's gonna be okay. But there's monsters out no, there. No, they're not no, baby, They're not monsters. It's okay, I promise. Baron, you stay the hell away from her. This is your last warning. You lay one hand on it. I will kill you.
Know that car! What are you doing?
Wait! We can help him if he's still alive. Yeah, we can help him by putting it out of its misery. It? There's no time for heroes today. Get it? That thing is not a little boy. It's infected. Look at it! Look! No. No, you, you can't be that cold. You're, you're acting like it's the end of the fucking world. I can hear him moaning. That's life. He's alive. And you just can't decide to end it. No. You listen to me. He's coming with us. You know, we'll... We'll find some help. Maybe there'll be a guard there. Maybe there'll be a vaccine or something. <laughs> no, no. That's not happening. Do you even understand the word hope? Huh? What makes your, that little boy's life any less important than yours? There is no hope. This town is a fucking meat grinder. I'm doing what anybody would do. If they knew what I knew... Oh, then... yeah? And what is that? You almost had me going there. This town barely exists. And you, you want to save everybody. You know what that makes you? That makes you the only man on a sinking ship that's on fire. And you have a bucket full of water trying to put it out. We're better off saving ourselves. Survivors are nothing but weak people waiting to be saved. Yeah, well, I made a promise. No matter what, I'd be there. I made a promise, Beth, to somebody I love. Why bother? Wow. You really are that cold. You know, if there are survivors out here, any decent person would try to help. I'm not a decent man. And neither are you. What? Then why didn't you try to stop me? That's a change of thing. My family, they would expect me to come. Go, 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 go! Get the truck! Go! Fuck, what's that back in there? Get a hold of Kevin? No. Now the phones aren't even working. Look, I just tried to rush back as fast as I could. Those things were all over. <laughs> and there's I, I almost. I just didn't. I didn't want to. It's okay. 
okay, it's okay. We just gotta get you out of town, get you guys to safety. Oh. No, 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 we can't leave, we can't leave without Kevin. He's gonna come back for us and we have to be there when he comes. Do you know where he is? Face it. They're dead. You don't know that. Look, we don't need any more company around here, all right? I'm not leaving anybody behind. They need me. You don't get it. I have to go. You're risking your life. For what? So you can die right along with them? Okay, let's say you make it. What's next? A fucking helicopter to airlift the Brady Bunch? Not gonna happen. Yeah, I'll deal with that when I get there. Look, you're better off leaving with me. I know I can get two of us out of here. You gotta trust me. Trust you? I barely know you. Fuck, those two people back in the shed knew more about you than I do, and look what I got them. Oh, so you're gonna believe the hicks back there. Look, I'm headed up this road. It's not that far. How do you even know if they're alive? Because I'm still alive! Well, I'm still alive, they're still alive. And whatever I find there, I'm ready to deal with it. All right. Whatever we find there, good or bad, we head north. Wait immediately! We're about to carpet bomb whoa, the entire whoa, whoa, whoa. perimeter ASAP! No, you, you can't do that! Listen to me! We have ordered a you full scale that, like evacuation! There, are... there has been a security breach! All non-personnel must remain! We've got to get the fuck out of here! How Baron! Much, how much time do we have? Fuck if I know all hell broke loose about 20 minutes ago! SHIT!
downstairs. Mommy. <laughs> we need to get them. Where the fuck are you going? Didn't you hear what he said? Give me your fucking keys. I don't care. You want to stay here and die? That's just fine. But give me your fucking keys! Fuck you! <laughs>
need to thank me. Why? Why? I want to know where my girls are. Are you kidding me? There's pieces of them all over this place. Let me shoot. Yeah, let me shoot her again just in case. Get the fuck out of here! This is my wife! My family! Wife? Time to go. I'm going anywhere with you because I'm not your wife. You didn't even come home. You came here. You left me and you left little Kevin. Not true. Now come on. Let's go. I'm going anywhere with you. Get away from me. Give me a headache. Stink. You know, I wasn't leaving you. I was coming home. I just came here for the girls. Oh, I don't believe you. I see you here, saving Beverly Ann. You just wanted to shoot us. That's crazy, but you calm down. I'm not here to kill anybody. You're going to shoot us. I'm not going to let you hurt us. You're not going to shoot me, and you're not going to shoot our baby. Nina, why would I do such a thing? You're not the same. Something's wrong with you. You know, what's wrong with little Kevin? He's just a baby. Jesus. I couldn't leave him. I didn't want to leave him. He's just a little baby. Nina. Put little Kevin down. So you can shoot him? No! You know what's going to happen to them. You, know, you fought hell in high water. What, to shoot your family? Hell, yeah, let me do it. No! Don't you dare. You lay a finger on him, and I swear to fucking God I'll kill you! Answer me, Kevin. Who is he? He's nobody! Pointing that gun at the wrong person. She's turning, and you know it. Contact, contact! This is Blackbird, do you copy? This is Darkness. Over. Roger that, Darkness. What's your position? I believe I'm in Sector Alpha Charlie. I can hear you right up the road. 
We have your signal. You're about 10 minutes out. Are you going to be alone? Negative. I'll have one test package with me. Have a quarantine unit ready. I still have a live one, but the serum is wearing off. The infected didn't attack him. It was a successful failure. It'll all be in the report. Did I get it? Did I get it? What do you want? Go away! Get out of here, you loser! Thank you, buddy. This is the end. We get to see you could not miss. A final goodbye. Our tears it will be crushed. Let's go, John! One, whatever number you are. Six. Six. <laughs> Immediately, head north. We're about to fuck. We're about to carpet We're about bomb. to fuck. We're a, is that Rib kind of that engine. <laughs> Rib that engine. Old consummate professional, folks. We're gonna No. It's hurt, all right? I'm gonna okay. go get help. You're the only person I can trust. Okay. All right, be careful! White women! <laughs>